Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this Wednesday's show. Gold and silver are the only real money. You got to get that into your head now because the crisis is beginning. It's beginning in the banking system. Gold and silver is the only real money. It's the only fundamental behind the whole world's financial system. And for you guys out there haven't got any gold and silver yet and all you're in is dollars, you're in big trouble because what we have is we have a Federal Reserve who has not stopped raising interest rates. They're going to continue. And this is exactly what causes these banks to fail right now because the banks are investing in these different places are putting their money in the, into the bonds and the treasuries and things like that as investment tools. And then when the interest rate on the bond raises, what happens is, is it leaves them with unrealized losses on their balance books. And the people are getting wind of this stuff and they're pulling their money out of the banking system. And uh, suddenly your bank's failing. What do you do? Well, people have been running into uh, uh, treasury bills. They've been running into money market funds. Money's been moving around. This is exactly what happened in 1929 before the great crash of 1929. But this time, it's going to be something similar but a little bit different. Back in 1929, we were on a gold standard. And so the crash had to be deflationary, and it was. But this time... We're not on the gold standard. This time it's going to be a hyperinflationary crash. You guys have never experienced this before. It's coming. It's coming like a tidal wave. Right now, I've been in this, talking about this for at least six, seven years. About seven years. And I've been calling for it. And back when I first started calling for this, people out there, they were like, ah... They couldn't see it coming. They couldn't see it, but I saw it. I knew this was coming all the whole way, everything. I told you guys, I said, hey, you know what? We're going to have a deflationary spike event. I told you that two or three years ago, maybe four years ago, when I first started talking about a deflationary spike event. We're in the deflationary spike event right now. We're right in the middle of it. It's not over. It's not over until the Fed makes a full pivot. The Fed's made a partial pivot. They've injected $400 billion, basically, onto their balance sheet to try to cure the problem that's happening right now at this second. But it's not going to cure it. It's They're going to be forced into a full pivot. When they start to lower rates, that's when the real fireworks begins. I know you guys got excited when you saw the silver price go up a buck in one day. I think it was a dollar nine. It's exciting, right? But you're just starting to see the fireworks. Because I've told you guys we're going to see $3 days. And I might be being conservative. But we're going to see multiple days where it goes up. More than $3 a day for silver. And gold the same. $50, $100 days. Do you want to really miss out on all of this? Because this is the place you want to be in this kind of a crisis that's coming. This is We're still on the ground floor. Time is limited, guys. This is really getting serious for you guys now. You have to understand that. That's why I'm doing this show right now. Uh, we're in the middle of the deflationary spike event right now. And it's going to end. The deflationary spike event's going to end. And that's the last hurrah for the dollar. After this is over, the dollar is going to start losing value at an incredible pace. China, Russia, they're all linked in together, guys. And they mean to take the dollar down. And they're setting up a new world reserve currency. It could be the Indian rupee that they use. It could be the Russian ruble. It could be the, uh, it could be the yuan, Chinese yuan. Or they could make a combination of all three. We just don't 
have the exact scoop yet on exactly what they're going to do, but it's probably going to be gold-backed. And if you can only imagine what that'll do to the price of gold, but what it'll do to the dollar is going to be absolutely unbelievable. Energy costs are going to go through the roof. You guys got to be prepared for this. You got to have your finances in order. And the best way to prepare is have a part of your portfolio in gold and silver. Limited time left, guys. Just wanted to let you in on that message. Thank you guys for listening to my show. Like and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.